हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू ग्रो मेड ग्रो मेड इज अ वन स्टॉप गाइड फॉर द एफ एम जी एस्परेंट्स वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग हियर द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स दैन प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन सो ऑल यू नीड टू डू इज टू सब्सक्राइब टू ग्रो मेड एंड टैप द बेल आईकॉन टू गेट ऑल द नोटिफिकेशंस ऑल्सो जॉइन मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम टू मेक योर एफ एम जी प्रिपरेशन ईजियर फन एंड इफेक्टिव In this video we will be discussing about the joints as this is an important topic and every year one question is asked in the FMG E from the joints so you can go and analyze the past year question papers from the anatomy and you will be finding one question from the joint so you cannot miss this topic at all to make this easier for you i have tried to fit all the joints in a single paper and along with the image so that if image based question is also asked then you will be solving it easily so let's start the joint here as you can see here this is the joint present between the mandible and the temporal bone and it is the synovial type of joint and condylar joint then moving on the joint of the tooth and socket it is given a special name and it is called as the gomphosis so this is very unique name so it will be easily remembered uh, gomphosis okay then moving on acromioclavicular joint it is a plain synovial kind of joint then the sternoclavicular joint the joint between the sternum and the clavicle it is a saddle joint then shoulder joint it is a ball and socket joint the head of the hum humerus it acts as a ball and it is fitted in the socket so it is called as a ball and socket joint then moving on sphysternal joint it is the synchondrosis and also called as primary cartilaginous joint then the elbow joint it is called as the hinge joint then the radio ulnar joint it is classified into the two types the upper and the lower the superior and the inferior joint these are the pivot joint and these help in the movement of the supination and the pronation whereas the middle radio ulnar joint it is the syndesmosis and it is also called as fibrous joint so if a, if at all a question is asked on the radio ulnar joint do look at the wordings of the question which joint the examiner is asking is either it is the middle the superior or the lower then the wrist joint it is an ellip ellipsoid variety of joint the carpo metacarpal joint it is the saddle joint carpo then the joint of the metacarpopharyngeal it is of the ellipsoid variety and the joint between the phalanges that is the interphalangeal joint it is the hinge joint then moving on to the joints of the lower limb this the joint between the sacrum and the coccyx it is the symphysis then the hip joint it is also the ball and the socket joint like the l shoulder joint same as the shoulder joint then moving on the pubic symphysis it is the secondary cartilaginous joint and this is a repeat question previous year question asked multiple times so image based question only was asked marking this area and which type of joint it is then moving on the knee joint it is also a hinge joint just like the elbow then the next joint that is the joint between the femur and the patella it is the saddle variety and the joint between the femur and the tibia that is these two joints these are the bicondylar joint then the joint between the tibia and the fibula that is the tibio fibular joint which is the synovial type of the joint likewise the fibular tibio fibular it is different the upper is the synovial and the middle is the syndesmosis so the next joint that is the ankle or the septalar joint it is the plain synovial joint and this was also a previous year question giving the image the marking was done and the type of joint was asked then moving on to the calconeo navicular joint it is the joint between the three bones and it is also ball and socket variety let's discuss another two important joints that is the joint between the atlanto and the occipital bone that is the atlanto occipital joint 
so the atlanto occipital it is an ellipsoid type and the atlanto axial it is the pivot type questions are asked like uh, the no movement of the head is done using which joint or which joint help in this movement it is the atlanto occipital which does the no movement and then the yes movement of the neck that is nodding of the head like this that movement is done by the atlanto occipital so this was the list of some important joints which you must study for the fmge hope this short and quick revision video about the joints will be useful for you all like the video subscribe to grow med and share this video with your friends thank you so much guys bye bye